Hey guys, Hafstein Thorason here uh, from Twink Graphics and uh, today I want to show you how to convert an image to vector in Illustrator. I am a graphic designer and I have been working for quite some time uh, doing that. I'm actually working quite a lot in animation and doing videos. I, I work full time with an ad agency. My main goal with these videos is actually just, yeah, for fun, uh, to maybe educate people and uh, hopefully help people that uh, are interested in design and animation. Uh, but for this video, I, I just want to do something really simple and that is to show you how you can easily convert uh, an image to vector in Illustrator. And if you don't know what uh, what vector graphics are, then uh, photos uh, constructed of pixels, but uh, a vector image uh, in Illustrator, it's basically <coughs> graphics or an element that you can resize uh, endlessly uh, without losing any quality but if you resize an image that is uh, constructed from pixels you will lose uh, image quality and resolution you cannot resize it uh, forever so <clears throat> vector is good for uh, when you're working with logos and graphics but pixels are when you're dealing with photos so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use an image and in this example I am using an image that I created with Dolly in um, that is inside of chat GPT so I had AI do this image because I don't want to uh, use an image from the internet that could be copyrighted. So I just want to play it safe and I just yeah, asked ChatGPT to basically create an image for me. Yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. So once you're inside of Illustrator, you can yeah, choose the image and it's basically up here, image trace. So if you open it up here with the arrows, then you have quite a few options. I would recommend for a basic logo, uh, black and white logo. Uh, in this case, I wanna just, yeah, you know, have it a solid color. So I'm gonna choose here black and white logo. And as you can see, it's pretty fast. Yeah, once it's done, you're gonna choose the image and you're gonna press expand and then you're gonna right click on the image and do ungroup and if you press ctrl y you can see that there is still a frame around it we don't want this frame so when you press ctrl y you're getting like a wireframe view of your artboard so in that case um, you see the frame here but you don't see it when you are you know, in normal view so you're gonna just drag over here and choose the this uh, box here and delete it by hitting backspace and then we only have the graphics here and as you can see now this is uh, this is a vector image and you can resize this um, without losing any quality you can see that the line here it's just it's smooth uh, if we go back I'm just gonna undo this uh, if we resize this I'm just gonna resize this and then I'm gonna zoom in you can see you can see the pixels here so it's not not smooth it, it's uh, losing uh, resolution losing quality so a golden rule you know I never rescale images up I only rescale them down there are some specific softwares like uh, Topaz Giga pixels or, or you know that 
specialize in enlarging images uh, but in general I, I I don't use that uh, unless I'm doing something very very specific but yeah so yeah that's how basically you convert an image to vector so if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah put a like on the video thank you